welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today is day 16 of 3D Printmas. And now I actually have something quite a bit different than my normal videos today. Most of the time I create like characters from TV shows or video games, things like that. And today I have more of an experiment than a fully fledged out model. Um, and that is in the form of this car right here. So as you can see, it's kind of a funky looking car. Um, there is a reason for it looking like this. So a few months ago I had a thought um, and I wondered to myself if I could make a printable object print in one piece and be a functioning toy car. And this is what I came up with. Now this is not perfect by any means, like I said this is an experiment. So if you guys own 3D printers, I'm sure you have come across models that um, have moving pieces that print in place and they often use little techniques here and there or supports or something like that that will allow uh, pieces to be printed that can be later sort of broken but broken in a way that allows them to move freely and still function. So that's exactly what I did here. And I didn't think I would need supports to do this either. So this didn't use supports, it printed all in one piece and has functioning moving tires. So when you're creating something to be printed without supports, you really can't go over a 45 degree angle overhang. And that's obviously quite problematic when it comes to a car. Um, so I printed it on its side and there's the top of it and as you can see there's quite a few angles here that keep it at or below that 45 degree angles. So no issues there and then if I turn around on the bottom it sort of gives away the secret here. So basically what I did was created cones for the wheels so they can print out and become that big piece and in the center they're very tiny and can be a normal spinning axle. And then you can see this area right here is just a bridge. So if your printer and filament are capable of bridging a really small gap, then you can do this print. Now, as I said before, this isn't perfect. Um, it definitely does not work very well, but it was more of a proof of concept and I might build upon it later. Now, there are actually a few problems with this design. The first being that the axles are load bearing along the Z axis where they are printed. And that's not ideal because they are weakest along that because of the layer lines. So um, if you're not careful, those can break pretty easily. And then the second problem being the tunnel that allows the axis to go through. Now you can't see it because it's covered up in there, but the tunnel that goes through here is a square and the axle is a cylinder. Now originally I tried to put a cylinder through there so it would fit just better and spin kind of expect like you'd expect it to. But um, while trying to do a bridge, it kind of loops around that spot and then it droops. So it was fusing to the wheels and that just not, did not work very well. It can't really bridge in an arc. So I changed it to a square shape and that worked, but uh, it kind of makes it a little bit clunkier to ride. But other than those two things, this actually does work. I mean, you've seen the wheels do spin completely free. Um, they, ne they needed just a slight nudge when I pulled them off the bed to break free. This is actually a really good test to see how well your uh, retraction settings are dialed in. And um, you can probably even see a little bit on mine, I've got some zits on the wheels, which makes the wheels turn even worse. So this is really a good test if you need to um, sort of dial in your settings to see if you can get this pop to pop off and spin well. Okay guys, well you'll have to let me know what you thought of this. It's quite a bit different than the normal things I do. It was more of an experiment than anything. I will put a link in the description to the files if you want to print this for yourself. Then you guys will have to let me know, um, one, what you thought of this model. Two, if you guys have ever experimented with making um, print-in-place models like this. And three, what you would do to um, make this better. And if you do go out and make a design that's actually printable and works better than this, you'll definitely have to tweet me about it because this is something that interests me quite a bit. So so I would definitely be interested in seeing what you guys come up with for this type of thing. Okay guys, well that's it for 3D Print Miss Day 16. As I said, um, links to the files are down in the description. If you thought this was kind of cool, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you get subscribed. I'm putting out new videos every day in December. That's it for me guys. I'll see you tomorrow.